A Russian immigrant with extensive engineering experience had a clear vision to create an aircraft that could travel vertically and hover. This innovator believed that such a machine could travel to remote locations and enter dangerous areas to rescue people in distress. Less than four decades after humans achieved heavier-than-air mechanized flight, Igor Sikorsky invented the first practical helicopter. In the 15th century, Leonardo da Vinci conceived of a man-powered aerial screw that would compress air with a wide, flat blade and lift the craft high into the air. 400 years later, an innovative immigrant to the United States would make da Vinci's dream a reality by inventing the first practical helicopter. Already a renowned engineer and designer of aircraft in both his native Russia and as an immigrant in the United States for his work with fixed-wing aircraft, Igor Sikorsky had long had a vision of a practical way of rescuing people who were in danger in remote areas. Working from his Stratford, Connecticut plan in 1939, Sikorsky created a craft that had one long blade rotating on a shaft with a direct drive engine beneath it. The final version used one rotor in the tail section of the craft. He soon began extensive testing in the Lordship area of Stratford, Connecticut. In 1939, he flew his VS-300 model while tethered, and in 1940, he flew it with the aircraft under complete human control. The design theory of the VS-300 of one main rotor and one anti-torque rotor is still the model for all similar concept helicopters today. The two and a half years it took to create the final configuration of the VS-300 led to the improved R-4 aircraft, which began production in 1942. The aircraft was purchased by the U.S. Armed Forces and served as a rescue vehicle in the war, mostly in CBI theater and the South Pacific. By the end of World War II, over 130 R-4 aircraft were in use by the Allies for rescue missions, transporting the wounded, or for ferrying parts in remote areas. The flexibility of landing the craft also made it an excellent urban transportation vehicle for hospitals and dignitaries. Every U.S. president since Dwight Eisenhower has flown a Sikorsky helicopter while in office. Igor Sikorsky's desire to create the ultimate rescue vehicle has resulted in over two million lives saved. The legacy of his contributions and innovations still resonate within the United States and across the world today in the current products of Sikorsky Aircraft and United Technologies Corporation. I wanted to point out how tight-knit uh, a community manufacturing is in Bridgeport. Several of the pictures of the VS-300 being flown were actually taken by Dorothy Bullard of the Bullard family, so it just ties everything together. Uh, so, for from, formality's sake, um, I hereby induct Sikorsky Aircraft Corporation into the American Manufacturing Hall of Fame. Accepting is Jim Palumbo, the VP of Product Centers, and Sherry um, Casa Santa, VP of Assembly and Flight Operations. <laughs>